If all the narrative they have is money go up, ignore them. And that includes Bitcoiners, by the way. This is something, even, 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 even Bitcoin, even if someone says to you, Bitcoin, 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 if all they can speak about about Bitcoin is the money go up, switch off the channel and find someone else to listen to. Don't listen to them. Mm. If their motivation is only about money, you're listening to the wrong person. You need to listen to people who will educate you as to why Bitcoin is important. Censorship resistance, borderless payments, yet open system, open source, open system, you can build on top of it. But these are the people you need to speak to or listen to. Those who actually can teach you what Bitcoin is and educate you as to why it's something that should interest you. Not um, someone who's only, mm. who's only interested to make money. And that's just a... a, a um, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a message and a, and a qa'id, that's a principle. If they, if they mm. teach you about money, ignore them. Yeah, it's good to see actually, I'm coming on to that topic. Um, I'm, I might bounce around different topics here, but the other day I was working with um, some guy who's um, a marketer from Pakistan or something. He just reached out to me and he was surprisingly good. So um, I was like, why not? Because a lot of times when people call the email you or something, it's like... Um, it's just very basic and they don't put enough um, time into it and stuff. But, um, yeah. And then he, he, when it came to payment, he asked for Bitcoin payment, isn't it? And I was like, that's, a, that's the first time, that's the first time kind of um, someone that I've used to outsource work to whatever has requested payment in that way. Um, Perfect. And um, just to just point, draw a point to that, this is where Muslims need to be moving towards. How do we build a circular economy around Bitcoin? How mm. can I actually provide goods and services and get paid in Bitcoin? And take goods and services from others and pay them in Bitcoin. If we can mm. develop this, this, this network of people actually using Bitcoin for actual commerce, then people actually start seeing the benefits not only in their pocket, in their finances, but also taking Muslims away from a riba, from the banks mm. and their system. Mm. People don't recognize or even acknowledge this very important point. We are currently in a riba based system and we are making almost zero effort to exit it. We have a solution yeah. right here. And we're not taking advantage of it. We need to take advantage of it and start building our economy around it. That's why I'm making this a video series now, if anyone's interested, on how to live the Bitcoin standard. How yeah. can me, as a Muslim, live <laughs> entirely on Bitcoin? I mean, bills, groceries, um, utilities, rent. How can you do all of that using Bitcoin? It can be done. I've been doing it for the last two years. That's why I'm making up. That's what people should be start focusing. How can I? even try to attempt doing that, at least try at least, and you'd be surprised mm. how, how easy it is and how useful it is. And like your friend who you paid, no doubt he's got some way to use that money he's received to now pay his bills, to go and look after his wife and, and, and do whatever, whatever he needs to do. And no doubt he's mm. even saving money on remittance. You know, yeah. he get his money in his bank account. No one's asking yeah. him any questions. No one's questioning. Just the other day, I had some long two days, no, three days of interrogation from my bank account who is this guy pay, who's paying you? Why is he paying you? What services are you provided? Well, blah, blah, blah. what evidence do you have? Do you have a screenshot? Bro, I'm like, got to a point where I was saying, have I done something wrong? I mean, what, what's the problem? Oh, no, sorry. So uh, it's normal procedure and blah, blah, blah. Anti-money laundering. And I'm like, yeah. Fun this, man. I, I, I was actually at the stage where I was thinking, you know what? Let me just close the bank account, bank account down. I'm not, I can't bother this headache. If you, don't want, if you don't want me to do my business, let me just go somewhere else. And that's what people need to start thinking about. How can I, as a Muslim, exit this riba system 